Hi guys, I'm David. So I guess I should start off with a fun fact about myself. I'm a black guy from DC. <laughs> I know, right? It's a little surprising. But uh, you'll be more surprised to know that that's not so obvious to everyone. All right? Um, let me tell you a story about being a black man in corporate America. All right? So it was early in my career. I mean, so early that uh, a month ago, I was in college eating Hot Pockets for breakfast type of thing. <laughs> All right. But um, three weeks in, I, I was a consultant. I was invited to a team client lunch. And uh, all the big wigs were there. You know, my manager, uh, the associate director of global IT operations, his boss, and a few other important people. As soon as the lunch starts, the associate director looks down at me with a big smile. So when'd you come over? Come over from where? You know, from India. Are you from the north or south? <laughs> I just graduated from Syracuse School of Engineering. He's going, oh, that's awesome. My daughter wants to go there. I hear they have an amazing foreign exchange program. So at this point, I'm thinking, what the fuck kind of racist race did this guy play in his head to come up with this? <laughs> I know. In school of engineering, she's not white. Works in IT. <laughs> Gotta be a fucking idiot. <laughs> so after that, I, I was starting to wonder, you know, who am I? I started questioning myself, you know, what kind of persona I'm putting out to people. And little did I know, I would get that answer on my 27th birthday. So, uh, a couple of my friends decide we're going to go out to a bougie brunch. Get wasted. <laughs> right on. But because they know that I'm a 2018 hippie, okay, so that basically means I, I don't go around barefoot, I don't own any Birkenstocks, and I definitely don't own a fucking drink country. <laughs> But because of this, you know, they decided to give me some edibles. Now, I don't know if you guys know what edibles are, but they are a way to ingest marijuana with your favorite snack. <laughs> but it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to kick in. So with that being said, we come back and we eat the edibles. 45 minutes go by, nothing. So we're like, all right, fuck it. Let's take shots, let's get the night done. So me and my buddy, we take a stroll over to this absorbent liquor cabinet that he has. And as soon as I reach for the bottle of tequila, I feel a breeze down my back, and that was the sound of my friend's head bouncing off of a marble floor. So I slowly walk over to her. And to my surprise, she wasn't fucking dead. <laughs> she was okay, kind of. So I'm holding her up, making sure that she doesn't get dead. <laughs> and I tell my friend to call 911. So he's giving the address, he's telling them what's going on, and I can hear the uh, 911 person say, so what's going on and how's she doing? And the moment he looks over, he falls. <laughs> So I did what any self-respecting man in corporate America with 401k would do. I fucking left. <laughs> I collected my shot glass, <laughs> the few cookies that were left, and I got out of there. Unfortunately, I got all the way to my Jeep and I realized I might be a fucked up person <laughs> if I leave my friends there. I drove another two blocks and decided to run. <laughs> and when I got back, of course, the ambulance and the police arrived. Luckily, when they play racial parades, I was a white guy, so everything worked out. <laughs> Thank you guys for your time.